Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. Market outlook time for this week of FIFA Ultimate Team. Wow, I have squad matter rewards. What a joyous sight. Anyways, it is Monday. We have to talk about what is coming this week in the game of FIFA Ultimate Team. More preseason content, more SBCs, probably related to Champions League Road to the Finals, uh, Champions League games, Europa League games. Those type of market movements I want to talk about this week. And hopefully we get something related to a Champions League Summer Showdown or top transfer content as a part of this pre-season promotion. I keep talking about it, but that's because nothing has changed. And I really want that stuff to change on this game right now. The other stuff that we have to talk about, and I want to cover this right away because this is actually happening today on Monday. We are getting a trailer for FIFA Ultimate Team 21, Foot 21, the official trailer is dropping today, August 10th at 11 a.m. Uh, my time, which I do think is 4 p.m. UK time. So 4 p.m. UK time today on Monday, we are going to see a FIFA 21 Foot related trailer. So there's going to be probably another web page that they put up. Um, kind of like how they detailed all the gameplay changes. This is going to be the week of Ultimate Team, all the information, and we're getting more info on icons. We're probably going to get a lot of info on the icons today. Now, last year, if you remember, they showed a picture of the new cards. They, they confirmed a, a set of the new cards that were coming, and then they gave kind of like silhouettes of the other new icons that were possibly going to come out. We might see something like that today. But again, 100 icons are going to be in FIFA 21. So that means a possibility for 400 different icons in this game, of course, with the baby, middle, prime, and prime moments versions of all the 100 of those icons, which is crazy. Uh, there's a lot of leaks going around, a lot of speculation. Again, what do we do with leaks? As always, we take them on with speculation until we actually see what has come out confirmed and actually released by FIFA Ultimate Team. So we know uh, Petrcek and Javi are guaranteed because the last two days EA have tweeted out um, pictures of their, uh, you know, like kind of infographics that they're going to be in the game. Like this is a pretty sick player face for Javi, not going to lie. Petrcek's look pretty sick as well. Like the detail on those player faces is awesome. So I'm a big fan of those. And that those are two icons that are like really recent. Uh, and I saw some tweets earlier today that a lot of these new icons, supposedly the leaks, uh, are recent, right? So maybe, you know, Eto is somebody else who is recently retired. Um, you know, Philip Lam is another person a lot of people have had in mind. Now, we already have Pirlo. That was a pretty recent retirement. Uh, maybe like a Schweinsteiger. I'm just throwing out some random names, right? But a lot of these icons, some people are saying, are really recent. So today on Monday, 4 p.m. UK time, we're going to figure out and learn a lot of stuff about foot 21 there's going to be a lot of stuff to digest for tomorrow so you're probably going to see me talking about fifa 20 run foot 21 related items on tomorrow's video because that's very important right because this is the game mode that we spend at least on this channel i i mean these are all fifa ultimate team videos this is the game mode in fifa ultimate team this is the money that fifa makes the most this is the game mode that fifa makes the most money from and it's the game mode that is by far the most popular inside of FIFA just because of the aspect of building squads, using different types of cards and players, and the lure of packs and all that kind of stuff just lures so many people to this game mode, which is crazy, um, but it is what it is. And that's why tomorrow or today's announcement is so big for the Foot 21 official reveal trailer. So that's a big thing that's coming today. And shortly after that in the afternoon, we have more Europa League games. Inter Milan and Leverkusen, Manchester United and Copenhagen are playing in the quarterfinals. So that means we have some more live upgrade potentiality, uh, if that's even a word, with some of these live items road to the finals, right? Anthony Martial, again, uh, I'm actually going to talk about a possible a little bit of an investment we can make with some UCL cards because those games are coming up midweek as well. Uh, but first, I want to focus on these cards a lot of these guys continue to just drop when they get upgraded. Anthony Martial has a max price range of 280,000 coins. I think that's very possible he will come close to going extinct tomorrow, 280k. There's already only a couple pages of him on the market. There's three pages right now on the PlayStation 4 market. And um, especially with the Greenwood SBC being out, 
a lot of people did that SBC, which I think is expiring on Monday. So if I'm gonna do this, I gotta do it pretty fast. Uh, yeah, 14 hours. So this is gonna be expiring like right uh, before the game time tomorrow. So if you want to get your live Greenwood, of course, Manchester United look are looking like this. This next upgrade at least is almost guaranteed because they're playing Copenhagen. They should be able to win that game. They will then go on to the semifinal and then to the final. And in a span of basically. What is that, 11 days, 12 days? We could see this Greenwood go from a 94 to a 95 after tomorrow, after the semifinal, go into a 96. And if they win the Europa League, this will be a 97 rated Greenwood card um, after three upgrades, where at this point he could receive one, two, th yeah, three upgrades for them moving throughout. So that's kind of something, if you want to have that card, you can. And that's also something with, as I just talked about with the Anthony Martial, um, is kind of a... A point where I think this card is just going to have to go extinct at some point. I don't know. To my knowledge right now, I don't think they have updated any price ranges recently for cards like this, which is very unfortunate. I don't understand. Yeah, the last all, all these price ranges that they've been updating, if you take a look at this on Footbin, if you guys did not know, you can actually take a look at um, the price range updates per console on Footbin. It's one of the drop-down tabs here, price range updates. They haven't updated any price ranges since they put new cards in for team of the week. Basically, they're only upgrading price ranges for when they put new cards in the game. Literally, that's all they're doing. Uh, and it's it sucks because there's a lot of cards right now that are going to continue to go up in price because they're getting live upgraded and stuff like that. You know, Road to the Final Mares is somebody we talked about. This Martial is very close to his price range. A lot of these Road to the Final cards, their price ranges were shifted down lower after they all went to absolute like zero during the summer heat promo when they were re-released back into packs right like let's take a look at angolo Conte. his price range is still 650k but when a lot of these cards dropped down a bunch before they popped back up when they got the plus three upgrades i mean these guys got massive price range downgrades kingsley coman i think is another one uh this guy is 200k for his max price but of course earlier this year he was 400 000 coins down to 20k now back up to 120,000 coins. Uh, so, you know, a guy like Mar Martial, a guy like Handanovic, right? Just got upgraded from 93 to 94. But his price range is 100,000 coins. Like, what gives? Like, he's not going to get upgraded, I don't think, unless EA changes it around. It's not worth messing with any of these cards that are, you know, close to a price range update. Mares, of course, City are playing Lyon. Yes, they have a chance to go through. But, you know, if you're buying this card to get it upgraded and have it in your team, then sure, that's great. Which actually, am I seeing that these cards got upgraded tonight? I think I am. Uh, did these get upgraded? Is Goretzka... Now, Goretzka is still a 91. Interesting. Goretzka is still a 91. Coman is still a 91 as well. So these cards, I thought they were going to get upgraded tonight, but they haven't gotten upgraded yet. Uh, to go to their higher ratings, which also, if you're watching this video right now, if some of these guys have not moved in price before their uh, updates, I'm thinking that these two cards, especially right here, Goretzka and Kingsley Coman, could be uh, decent investments heading into this next week. Because as we saw with some of the Road to the Final cards from the Europa League, those Europa League Road to the Finals, which somebody is really listing up a lot of Goretzkas right there. I'm not a huge fan of that amount of supply, but... This Gorexka card is going to be a lot cheaper than his SBC. And uh, if Bayern continue to win in the Champions League, this guy is going to get upgraded even more. So I'm kind of a fan of um, these live items right here, Gorexka and Kingsley Coman, because they're going to get upgraded very soon. And um, this card is going to be almost club 90 with one with two more upgrades. 93 rated he could he could very potentially be like a club 90 card that's going to be the best version of Goretzka in this game so I'm kind of a fan actually I'm going to go ahead and pick up this one for 209 because I know that's been a decent price for him I'm going to chuck that on the transfer list I'm going to go get myself a Kingsley Coman as well just because I think there's a possibility that when these cards get upgraded uh they could actually go up in price I'm honestly thinking that that could happen now there also is a possibility that they could go down a slight bit in price too just because of people waiting for the upgrade and then seeing them get upgraded and, you know, going and selling the card. But I also think people realize that, hey, uh, these cards are uh, going to get upgraded a lot and they're going to look really good once they do get upgraded. Again, this Kings of Coman is going to have 99 pace once he gets upgraded, 90 shooting, probably 90 passing as well. And breaking into another barrier on a stat category like that is big. 
and of course, these guys are probably going to continue rising as we get through uh, and have more Champions League games being played. Uh, Usman Dembele is another one that I'm honestly kind of a fan of, especially after watching Barcelona play on the weekend. They played fantastic. Uh, this Usman is 250k. And once he gets his upgrade to a 91 rated card, uh, again, he's going to break into the 90 stat categories himself. 70 physical, most likely, probably 99 pace, probably 90 shooting, probably 90 passing as well. And that's going to be a huge card that a lot of people look to get on this game because this guy was like 290,000 coins pre-game, which is if you guys sold them pre-game earlier this week, you're feeling good, right? Because Goretzka was 2, like 70 and Kings of Coman was 170. Now he's 120. So some of these guys that are still live items, uh, I'm not, actually, if their team is somebody who is potentially going to keep going in the Champions League, depending on their matchup, I'm still kind of liking some of these cards right now on a Sunday night possible uh, investment for the week, especially if you think Barcelona or if you think Bayern are going to go all the way uh, and keep going through into uh, the... Semi-finals. So again, quarterfinal games are going to be played Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And the Barcelona Bayern game is on Friday. So I know these guys that I've been talking about play against each other, um, but I really like Bayern. I think for that game, but that's going to be a crazy, crazy game to watch. Uh, and I still think I like, regardless, I like Dembele, I like Kingsley Coman, and I like Goretzka because they're all going to rise into the hype as we get closer to the game on. Friday for that game specifically. Now, Paris and Atalanta, there's not a lot of road to the finals on the, the market. Most of them, they're SBCs. Uh, Marquinhos, this is a weird one for me. I think I talked about this in a video last night. Marquinhos' road to the final item is 130K, 92 rated card. Look at Marquinhos' team of the season item. Marquinhos' team of the season card is 126K as a 94 rated card. It literally does not make sense how this card is cheaper and two ratings higher than the road to the final. Yes, the road to the final is a live item. The only chance the road to the final has of being a 95 rated is if PSG go and win the entire thing. They win the quarterfinal game, they get upgraded. They win the semifinal, they get upgraded. They win the final and they're Champions League champions. Then this card will be 95 rated, the road to the final. So that's the only shot. I don't know why he is still sitting there uh, as a more expensive road to the final than his team of the season. That's another reason why I like Goretzka, Usman Dembele, and Kingsley Coman. Goretzka especially because this is the best version of his card in the game, especially after it gets upgraded in the next day or so. Uh, Kingsley Coman is the best version of his card that is available on this game as well, um, except for the Summer Heat version, which was an objective. And the same thing with Usman, right? The Usman SBC is very, very expensive. Now, somebody I haven't talked about that much, which is also uh, honestly... A pretty good investment because this card is so rare. Jordi Alba's Road to the Final card, 312,000 coins. Uh, let me take a quick peek at this price. I know a lot of you guys have mentioned me about Jordi Alba. He's going to go to a 93 once he gets upgraded. Uh, get into the 90s for dribbling and defense, most likely. He was just 300,000 coins. Uh, and he has been upgraded to, or he's going to go to a 93, I believe. So, yeah, he was 290 at some points today, according to the graphs on Footbin. Uh, this guy fluctuates a ton just because he's super, super rare, uh, which is kind of interesting. But this would be a card, again, that I would expect to rise into the hype as we get closer to the game uh, this week uh, on Friday. So Friday is a huge day for Road to the Finals, but I think a lot of these cards, the only thing that would make these cards drop is if EA continue to release content that's going to drain coins from people's clubs, like 300,000 coin SBCs. Uh, and, you know, they put out another 89 double plus today, and that has just really shaken the fodder market up once again. 86 rated cards are 30,000 coins plus 85s are 20K, 84s are maxed out at 10,000 coins. Again, it is getting despicable how expensive some of these SBC prices are. And again, this only goes to show that there are still people playing this game, still people interested in this game, and... Still rocking out on the FIFA menus, man. That is what I'm seeing through all these SBC prices and the cards that are required to put in those SBCs, why they're going so super duper high. And of course, nobody's opening packs right now. That is another issue that there's no supply for those cards. So that's why they're also going up a lot more demand than supply. So I need to go in here and get some more SBCs done. 89 double, the Joe Bryan, the Pablo Sarabia, 
Uh, I have to finish probably Greenwood as well. So I'm going to be sinking some of my coins into these SBCs because why would I open upgrade packs right now when there's nothing in packs and nothing to grind towards like a repeatable TOTS SBC. So we shall see about that. Hopefully we get more content related to that later this week. Uh, but I know some of you guys are still trying to make coins. So that's why I wanted to shout the road to the final stuff because this stuff is still low after the games that happened yesterday. I think there's a possibility you could buy into it and watch it rise as we get later on in the week um, for Champions League games coming later on this week. Of course, there was an SBC uh, out earlier, which was the Zhao Felix. Has he got a dynamic image yet? I'm waiting for this dynamic image on Zhao Felix. Maybe if they win against Leipzig, he'll actually get one. I'm not sure. I went out and did this SBC because I think they have a great shot at winning. This guy's going to go to a 95, might have 90 passing, 96 pace, 95 shot. It's already a very, very meta card, so I'm excited for that game on Thursday to see this card potentially get upgraded. And yeah, man, that is basically this week for all that we know on the game FIFA Ultimate Team. That's your market outlook, right? Road to the final hype, uh, whatever hype that may be. If they're releasing another 89 double upgrade, I would say there's possibly a chance at us getting another 86 player pick, 86 plus player pick with the five cards in there and more SPC prices going up. I don't really see how they're going to combat the rising SBC prices because nobody's opening uh, packs right now. People still ask about promo packs. I guess people are opening promo packs with coins. That's how bad it's getting right now. And honestly, you might profit because if you get a board out of a 7.5 K pack, like the 7.5 K pack method might even be decent because if you get boards out of that, which is not the most rare thing to do, I mean, you're packing 6,000 coins from an 83 rated card just like that. And if it's an 84, you just made your money on that pack because all 84s are like 9,000 coins at least. So uh, yeah, that is why SBC prices are so high right now because there's a lot of SBCs that are out, a lot of stuff that people are doing inside of the squad building challenge menu. And there's just no supply for those cards on the market because there's no promo packs and because the upgrade packs nobody wants to do. So GG is the foot economist for inflating SBC prices like we've never seen before. This is gonna become a big thing in FIFA 21. A lot of SBCs, a lot more market constriction. We're going to see crazy, crazy fluctuations on SBC cards even more in FIFA 21. That is what I feel is going to happen based off of all that they've released this year that has been new upgrade SBCs, totally new types of packs with like 86 player picks, double 89 pluses. Those are new packs to FIFA this year. They've seen how much we love guaranteed tots, guaranteed party bags, all those types of SBCs. We're going to see even more of those in FIFA 21, in my opinion, uh, since they saw how much coins they can drain off the market at any given time with that type of SBC. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. FIFA 21 information coming today. More Road to the Final Europa League and Champions League movements coming later on this week. And just hopefully some, you know what, somewhat grindable content from EA on the summer or excuse me, on the preseason front, top transfers, summer showdowns. I beg EA Sports, release them, all right? This promo has been going on for almost two weeks and we haven't seen any of those things that you advertised the first day of this promo. That's the market outlook for this week, boys. If you enjoyed it, smash a like on it, drop a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.